Uh, okay, guys, um, it's me again, Paul P. I'm here in Resorts World. I'm actually, vi- um, I'm actually featuring a restaurant I already featured before. It's called Pedro and Koi. But the reason why I'm here is not for me, but for my cousin. My cousin here, K- Killian, is actually Canadian. He's here with his girlfriend, who has who's spending overnight layover here and they're going back to Toronto today so here's the catch she hasn't been to the Philippines and this is my opportunity to they just opened the restaurant now so we're gonna try their food she's this is her opportunity to try real Filipino food and I chose this place because I know they have street food here so tayo. okay guys um, Today, I'll be featuring Filipino food, but I won't be f- facing the camera. I'll be facing the back. I'll be at the back while these guys eat, and I want to see their reactions on the food. I'll be asking them some questions regarding the dishes they'll be trying, and I hope this will be a good way for her to try Filipino food. Okay? We'll wait for our orders to arrive. Okay guys, um, hello, you can see me. Sorry for the glare. I'll be using this camera for my reaction and this camera facing them. Here's what we ordered. We have Filipino street food, which is their tunog kale. It's basically kwek kwek, uh, fish ball, squid ball, and chicharon bulakla. Uh, chicharon chicken skin. We have, this is it, pancit, or their pancit uh, canton. Sizzling Bulalo Stokot Babski which is Stokot Baboy their version of Stokot Baboy and their CC. We also ordered Toron for dessert so actually we'll start with this then we'll continue with the Toron afterwards so, yeah Okay guys, uh, we'll let Jay try the chicken skin first Try the chicken skin without anything first How is it? It's pretty good. It's kind of lemony a little bit. A little lemony. Now yeah. try it with the, the vinegar. Yeah. That's the good stuff. How is it? Mm, that's pretty good. Because the fattiness, right? Yeah. So, now, we can try the others. So, which one do you want to try next? This one. Okay, that's thing. fish ball. Hmm. Koi? What's your comment on fish balls? Chewy? Chewy? Try it with the sweet sauce. Sweet sauce, okay. It tastes like a potato actually, I don't know why. It's basically because of deep fried. Oh, okay. It doesn't taste fishy at all. No. It's basically surimi. Surimi is, uh, what do you call this? Round up white fish. That's made in shape to balls. This one is that one boy is squid ball. Hmm. Basically ground up squid. I want a good. I got one. Uh, quite Hmm. Okay. What's a quack quack? Quack quack is yeah. Show the camera. That's deep. That's basically battered quail egg, hard boiled oh. quail eggs. Which is it in better sauce wise? Uh, it's actually both. You can oh. try it in both. Try the vinegar first. How's the squid ball? Mm. What is this, by the way? That's vinegar with onion. Oh. It's actually sugar cane vinegar. Okay. Yeah, I think I like the, the sugar cane vinegar more so than the, uh, the sweet stuff. Okay. Yeah. Jay, give that a try. Mm. The garlic me, rice is always... Uh, this is what I like. This is... Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna try. Dip it in the sweet sauce first. Okay. Instead sweet of the uh, sour one. Sweet sauce. Alright. Wait. What is it? Basically, same surimi, but this one's ground pork. Mmm. It's basically uh, not bad. Chinese, Chinese style hot dog. Ah, okay. I like Filipino food a lot more than I do like Thai food just because 
We're eating at the fish stuff. It's not, it's not too fishy. It's not too fishy. No, it's like it's kind of like it's a nice subtleness to it. Yeah. The texture is nice too. It's right on that fish bowl. I think my favorite actually is technically either this one or like the chicken skin actually. I love their chicken skin here. Chicken skin is awesome. Chicken skin is the best guys. With the vinegar? So this is typical street food you can find in the streets here. You can see it. The term we use is lalako or by a street car. And sometimes you can see The only thing they don't have here is Kisao and, and the other stuff. Technically like um, Kisao, barbecue. I wanted to bring you some of that but you're only here overnight. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. So we'll move on to the next dish. Okay, guys. Huh? Okay, guys. Next, we will try pancit. Pancit is technically any dish noodle, noodle, oh, noodle dish in the Philippines. Last night when we ate in that restaurant, we had pancit palabok, which is basically shrimp paste or shrimp based sauce. Mm -hmm. This one is pancit canton. The pancit canton is basically egg noodle with glass noodle, tossed with pork, stir fried pork, and chicken. Basically, our Filipino version of yakisoba. Yakisoba. Okay, okay let's try it. But I'll keep my comments down, I'll put a video on the screen. Yeah, get some uh, of the get pork. Some of the pork and, and the egg too. And the egg. The egg? Oh, okay. Yeah. I get some cabbage. I didn't get it. I'll try some of this. Okay, so she's trying her first bite of pumpkin. So I'm trying to like use a fork and a spoon. This is not full, this is not fast, so you can just bite the noodle. It's okay. <laughs> How is it? Mm. You like it? Mm. It's really flavorful. Oh. Let's try it. Mm. Papa likes it a lot. It's pretty much lucky me. Mm. Yeah, lucky me flavor. He knows that very well. Mm. Okay, here in the Philippines, we basically have pancit, which is taken by birthdays or any special occasion. Okay. Specifically on birthdays, because it there's a superstition that says if you eat pancit on your birthday, you have you have a long life. Oh. Long noodles. Oh, okay. So what happens if they're not long noodles then? But I don't know. Oh. But most of the time we always have pancit. No matter yeah, any noodle. So nice like spaghetti. Mm. Okay. So we'll move on to the next dish. We're enjoying our meal already. Okay guys, our next dish is Topot Baboy, but they have it weird here. They're, they're using chorizo with it and green mango. Okay, go ahead, give it a try. Little green mango. Awesome. I'll get some. Try a bit of everything. It's supposed to be sweet, a bit of a bit sour, and a bit spicy. Mm. 
crispy, bit crunchy, some of the green mango, right? And then uh, eventually, the green mango is there because it will help cut the fattiness of the fried stuff. I like it also for a bit. It's like um, it's sweet. But it also has a little bit of like sourness to it, but uh, then the spice kind of like blends it together. Mm. And then the mango, I didn't know if I would actually like that or not, so I'm not a huge fan of like mango. But it actually kind of ties it all together. I like it. You call it. That's pretty darn good. It's pretty darn good? Mm -hmm. Good. I'm not a big fan of tofu, but this one, I can do it. Is this tofu here? Mm hmm. Yeah. Really? Wow. Tofu is tofu. Like, um, firm tofu. Tofu and some pork, Chinese sausage. Tofu is only easier than you have it before. Oh shit. I'm still really liking the the pork tip. It's really good. Third to the last dish is bulalo steak. Sizzling bulalo steak. Here's what it looks like. Yeah. Bulalo is basically beef shank that is, this one is smothered with it's gravy and it's served with corn and a bit of carrots. It's actually best eaten with rice. Oh really? Sure, pass over some of the rice. Yeah. I don't want to finish my rice. Why? Oh, you're gonna have the last piece there. Oh, I see. Not really. But I will save this. Yeah, we will keep the sauce. Okay. Here's the sauce. Is it garlic in here? Garlic? Yeah, yeah. Garlic rice. Yo, I like this already. Guys, she likes it now. Okay, so. Here. Got a bit of the rice. Now she's gonna try some of the. The uh, bulalo steak. I might just eat the rice by itself. Yeah, there's a difference between garlic rice and broth and Filipino sinalag. Ours is really beef stir fried to match the garlic in the rice. Oh, that's why it's so good. Well, like for Ukrainians, like we love uh, garlic, so that's why I'm like I'm kind of attached to it now. Oh, see. That she is Canadian, but she's also Ukrainian Canadian, so. This is kind of new to her. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, potato. That's okay. not a potato. What is that? <laughs> is that fat? <laughs> yeah, my oh, oh, it's fat. Oh, it's fat. <laughs> That's not fat. That's uh, uh, cartilage. Leafed. Yeah, oh, cartilage. Yeah. What's it's that? actually good for you. Why is it all squishy? It's uh, It's cartilage. cartilage. Oh, cartilage. Oh, sorry. It's actually the best part of the Bulgarian state. Okay. So, give it a try, guys. Right? Give it a try. Oh, wow. I got the whole tank. What's it? What's that? The whole tank is bone marrow. Oh, she yeah. loves bone marrow. How is it? How'd you like it? Not bad. Whenever, whenever they ask what I want for a um, uh, home, I often tend to say Bulalo. Really? Oh yeah. So why just like, what kind of meat is it exactly? Like, it's beef. Beef shank. Beef shank, what's that? Then, um, shin of the beef. Oh. Femur. Basically, they slice it like hockey puck. Oh. You're supposed to make it soup. It's actually, Bulalo is actually soup. Oh, like the, like the powder stuff where you get like at home, like the little hockey puck things you can get like, for your soup? No, 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 no. no? Basically, like, if you've got a leg, crosswise, mm -hmm. you'll have the bone, the middle, with marrow, then eat around it. That's basically what it is. You boil that with, uh, well, I, my version is only onions, peppercorns, and a bit of fish sauce. And you boil that until it's super tender. Then when it's super tender, they remove it from the from the soup and they make it into one of the steak, which is this. But Kopoi and my brother prefer it 
Oh, no, no, no. I said soup because it's better with dry. And then you mix the bone marrow with your uh, with your rice. Yeah, you mix the bone marrow with your rice, or you basically eat the bone marrow with patis and chili. What is the fish sauce? Outside is not actually egg, that's mayonnaise. But they have egg at the bottom. So that crusty part is the egg. You're supposed to have this like, super sizzling and you mix it together. And it's actually Anthony Bourdain explains it as pork ash. Okay. It's basically just pork face, um, boiled, and sometimes fried or grilled, then chopped up into bits and sauteed with garlic and onion with chili. Okay, so what's, what's this then? That's calamansi. Calamansi is the sour component. If you want to cut the fat in this off, to this, you sprinkle a bit of calamansi and chili. Oh, okay. Okay, so give it a try. Here's the serving spoon. Oh, yeah. <coughs> Actually, better yet, mix the whole thing together. Yeah, there's lots of chili in there. And this is technically actually pulutan or bar food. But people always sometimes eat it with rice. There. Your first bite of CC, guys. That's one of the best reasons Anthony Bourdain said. Come here to the Philippines, CC and let go. <laughs> what do you think of it? Chewy. It's not as eggy as I was gonna be because. I'm gonna. Do you want me to mix the egg? Yeah, mix the egg. I thought it was gonna be great, eggy, but it's not. Which I like that because um. I don't know. I didn't like care for like the omelets back in Thailand because like they were usually very uh. Specific taste to the, the omelets or whatever that they would make. I like this actually, not that bad. This is a try for the evening. Mm. Let me just in the house in, in Toronto. I would make CC for roughly 10 kilos and we'll be over before I leave in a month. You know what you should do like, for uh, one of your videos? You should like make your own food and like also. Compare it to like a restaurant meal. I did that. Oh really? Oh. I did a cooking uh, show. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. I did it for Kuya Pat's birthday. Oh really? I did a homemade boodle pie. Oh. A boodle pie is basically where you put bananas on the on the table and everybody eats as well. Oh yeah, I've seen that before. Like my my. Uh... My friends from uh, the Philippines back in Thailand and Phong Wanok, they had like sort of like this picture of their family having the banana leaves and they had like different things on either side of the table and they were all kind of like sitting side by side as they were sharing food together. Good. Okay, so how do you find the CC? Not too spicy, not very gamey, and like it's not too overly powering from like the egg part, so I actually don't mind it that bad. Like, it's So, we'll finish eating for it, then we'll give, oh, we still have one more dish, we'll wait for that one. Okay, okay guys, uh, here's our last dish. We have dessert. This is Toron with ube and ube ice cream. Toron is a banana. It's like our first version of banana sauce. It's wrapped in a rice paper roll, rice paper, and it's rolled up. And this one has jackfruit in it that it's fried with uh, it's a caramel glaze, and it's served with 
This is ice cream or purple yam ice cream. This is a yam? Yeah, purple yam ice cream. Oh. It's not just food color. I don't know. In Canada, everything's got a food color in. How's the ice cream? I'm sure surprisingly good for yam. Yeah, it's not, not too sweet, not too, not too, not too, uh, focus. Rainy because of the uh, yeah. I'm not gonna do the most in your mouth, and it's like it's creamy but not too creamy. Okay. I'm gonna try this stuff. Yeah. Oh. Okay. You get one. <laughs> no, you just get the whole thing, put it on your plate, and slice it in half. Yeah, that's the idea. You're actually supposed to eat it by hand, like grab it, off, grab onto the end, and take a bite. Show it to the camera and like. See? It's glazed with caramel. And they're not that oily though. It's nice, it's more like caramel. You to give it a bite. That's good stuff, eh? Yeah. <laughs> now, it reminds since me. it's really warm, eating with ice cream, it goes pretty well together. Mm. That's why they partnered it together. It reminds me of some of the, the caramel reminds me of the uh, caramel apple when you bite into it, it's kind of like, yeah. it's crunchy. It's not, this, it's not too overly too sweet. And then there's like dragon fruit here. No, oh, that's uh, lamka or jackfruit. Oh, jackfruit. It's actually pretty good. You can't like, it's the banana, it's not, not the overpowering. We have a certain kind of banana here, it's called the sabah <laughs> banana. It's basically a, uh, a sweeter version of a plantain. It's not that long, it's quite short, but it's it's nice for frying. We have a version of this, it's called banana cube. Like barbecue, but our banana cube is basically bananas fried with... Actually, you fry the banana while, while it's in the pot and sprinkle sugar mm -hmm. until it caramelizes. Mm. And then you take it out and stick it on a stick. You eat that in the street. It's also not a street food. It's uh, merienda staple. Merienda is like uh, in between meals from lunch and dinner. This is actually really good. I'm wow. Actually, inside there's more ube. That's ube jam inside or macerated ube. That's good stuff. Mm. I prefer this for merienda than dessert. Where, where I live in the village, where I live here in Manila, I can get this from one of their stall, one of the stalls on the street. So I can have this fly anytime I want. Mm. Okay. That's actually really good. I remember like when I was a kid. Does this does this have any similarity to? Any dish, any dish you've had before? That's a good question. Um, the one thing that sticks out in my head the most, I would have to say, is like the caramel apple thing. The, the, the crusting around it reminds me of the caramel apple from back when I was a kid. When I would go to the carnivals with my friends and whatnot. But the inside, like the... Flavor-wise. Never had one like this before, actually. Not even a banana sauce. Do you have them? No, like back in Thailand, like when they would have like they cook like the banana wrapped in banana leaves, it would usually come out kind of tasting kind of more burnt tasting. So you kind of you have to scrape off like the the burnt edges of the banana to get to the the, the good part. But even then, a lot of the time the banana was usually like, dried up. That's the difference between our our cuisine and theirs. Yeah. No, it's really good actually. I like it. So, we'll finish this and we'll ask her her thoughts on her first try of Filipino food here. Okay, authentic Filipino. Okay, Jay. So, what were you expecting when you? Came here to Philippines, your first experience of Filipino food. Um, I wasn't expecting to like it at all, actually. Not because the Filipinos cannot 
uh, hip hop rhythm and anything like that. But I would say that for me, my experience with Asian food in the past um, in Thailand, it wasn't always the best regarding to going to different restaurants and trying new things. So I wasn't expecting a whole lot from this experience just because of my bias a bit. Um, but actually trying it, it was actually really good. And it was like, it surprised me how much I actually enjoyed it. Okay. So, amazing it that you like Filipino food right now. Yes. Okay. Are you willing to try other Filipino food when you visit or when you're, when you go back to tomorrow? Yes, definitely. I'll try some of the Killian's uh, mom's cuisine and stuff like that. Do you have anything else to say about the food? Um, and the Filipino culture? I would definitely say about the Filipino culture. The first thing I noticed was that when you and your family were talking to a lot of people, um, within like uh, just on the streets or whatever, or in the mall, you guys kind of like were talking to each other as if you've been like longtime friends. Which usually more in Thailand, it was the people smiled, but it was more kind of like awkward and kind of cold sometimes. And here it's a lot more warm and welcoming, which I'm not. I was actually really surprised to see. Okay. So, as a closing remark, I want to say, Taraka and Tayo. Taraka and Tayo. That means, let, let's eat. Ah, okay. okay. And one more Filipino term I want to say is, I am Buso. And Buso? Buso means full. I am Buso. She's satisfied. <laughs> Another Filipino food convert, guys. So, okay. I was nervous. <laughs> okay, guys. So before we go, I have one thing to say. Wait, let me flip the screen there. I can't see anything. There. I have one thing to say. Our experience here in the Philippines, they've been here for only 22 hours, and I hope that. That's okay. They can see. Uh, they've only been here for 24, 22 hours, and I've treated them to a Filipino style buffet and a Filipino meal here, and I really hope that this could be a gateway for Jade to enjoy more Filipino food. Okay? So I'll be bringing them to the airport, then I'll be going back home and start editing this video. So, see you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at PaulAlwaysGutom Never Busog, on Twitter at PaulAlwaysGutom, and on Facebook at AlwaysGutom Never Busog. So till next vlog, see you in the dining room. Taraka in tayo.